The idea I had when I was writing the movie, I said, I hope I can make a movie that people can hum on the way out of the theater. Not the, not the music, but the movie. You know, that you can hum about sex, about love, about life, about empathy, you know? Fortunately, at this moment, is my favorite movie I made. <laughs> You may think that thing looks human, stands on two legs, right? But we're created in the Lord's image. You don't think that's what the Lord looks like, do you? I wrote it for her because she's both extraordinary and ordinary. She can be next to you in a bus stop, but she's also luminous, wonderful, magical. We wanted to show that this is not a, an animated princess, that this fairy tale has uh, edges, you know? I wanted to show the way she dreams of water, wakes up, uses water to boil her eggs, and then God gets in the water and masturbates, shines her shoes, and goes to work. A perfectly acceptable routine by any standards, and yet we are used to either never depicting female sexuality or depicting it in a glamorized, artificial way. And I thought, you know, most of the sexuality in the movie is not glamorized, including the moment that they come together, the, the amphibian man and her, is done in a very human, encompassing, naturalistic way. There is no nudge-nudge, wink-wink, perverse, you know? It's really the logical consequence of their love, and it's done in a beautiful, almost magical, poetic way. When he looks at me, he doesn't know how I am incomplete. He sees me as I am. Doug has done six movies with me. You know, he had to lure wires and wear basically a wet sponge all day and find the physicality of that suit and act within that suit. Because you can not only perform, you have to act. The, the beast in the tale is an elemental river god, you know. He has to have power, majesty, animal uh, energy, but he also has to be innocent, vulnerable, sad, in pain. I mean, there's a whole range of things, and Doug has his body and only part of his face to express, and then the eyes um, are beautifully sculpted and molded physically and enhanced with blinking and micro-expressions done digitally. So it really was about making the audience little by little fall in love with the creature. Ideology is dividing us in places that are more and more intimate every day religion, politics, and the movie says, without being disingenuous, you can choose love. 